I wanted to start this video out in the garage to cover a few things before I get to the main point of the video. Those of you that are new, this is my 2004 SVT Cobra. And those of you that have been here a while probably saw this video that I did on the cap. If you look down at the cap, it's hard to... You can see there's some... It sticks up a little bit, which is a huge problem. It's actually Justin SVT mentioned it on that video if that cleared the hood. And my hood does not latch. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I write on a uh, Facebook post, I asked about it. They said you can take this off and this cap is threaded all the way through. So you can actually take this and flip it upside down so there's a little bit of this neck. It's pointed down and this cap will screw on from the bottom. So I'm going to try that and then hopefully it clears at that point. And if I have to, I'll take the blanket off the hood to give it a little bit more clearance if I need to. But as I just wanted to uh, cover that real quick. Now the main point in this video is I'm going over mice, rodent control, as far as storing a car for the winter, which for people that live in cold climates, it's a huge, huge problem dealing with mice and anything else like that, as far as them getting into your vehicle, making nests, chewing wires, anything like that. You can see some of the stuff that I've done. Some of these, some of these things have been effective and other things have not worked at all. You can't see everything that I've done, but I'm going to pick this back up inside the house and I'm going to lay out everything that I've used and tried for as far as rodent control. And I'm gonna go over what has worked very well and what's been an absolute and utter failure and what my personal preferred method is for what I would do for storing a car in a cold climate where you have to deal with this crap for <laughs> hopefully not much longer here it's still this is a uh, late december recording this so we have until like april <laughs> when the weather really turns hopefully we'll see but i'm going to pick this back up inside and we'll go i'll go over all that stuff that i just explained and give you my personal opinion on this stuff granted this is my personal opinion you may have different results with the same products. This is just what I've encountered personally. So I thought I would put this out there for those people that are maybe looking at not wasting money like I did on some of the stuff. But we'll pick this up inside and go from there. A few minutes later. So this is an entire layout of everything that I've tried for rotating control in the garage. You're probably wondering why shop towels are here, but that will come up. Uh, I'm going to go through all this stuff, show you what it is in case you can't see it on camera, and then I'm going to explain the level of success that I've had with each one of them. Uh, this, of course, is Tomcat uh, mouse bait. Pretty much they go inside the little uh, housing for it, chew the bait, and they die. Uh, this here is rodent repellent. This has a strong peppermint oil smell to it, which is supposed to deter rodents, mice, anything like that. This spray is the same exact stuff, the same, um, along the same lines, we're doing the same thing. It's a peppermint oil spray. This, this one you plug in and it emits the odor. I've had these plugged into the garage and the whole garage smells like minty oil when you walk into it. This is different. You can spray this on surfaces like rags or just anything you want to spray it onto and that's supposed to deter mice. Here is a classic mouse trap and here is a glue board for mice. Now obviously these two are meant for rodent um, like a deterrent. A rodent deterrent where you try to keep them away from anything or out of a certain area. These three are to kill anything <laughs> that is in the area if it happens to get in there. My initial thought when going into the fall when the mice start to go indoors and when it starts getting cold is I wanted to keep them out of the garage and away from the Cobra. So I tried these first. Uh, I've had several of these plugged in the garage and different outlets throughout the garage and I've tried the spray. 
I can't speak 100% on how well this works. I will say 100% that this does not work. And being that these are kind of the same thing, I would kind of lump them into the same category as not working. Now you may wonder, how do I know that this does not work? One of my previous videos when I did the coolant ex expansion tank, when I put that back on the car, there was a very short part of the video and I kind of like paused when I was speaking because I noticed it. But I had, um, I had one of these shop towels laying on top of the cam cover on the Cobra. The thing I don't have up here, I forgot to put it up here, was dryer sheets. That's another thing that people use as dryer sheets. So I had dry sheet stuff various places throughout the engine bay to keep them away from the wires and everything else. I'm just backtracking just a little bit. And when I was filming that part of the expansion tank um, after it was powder coated, in that video I noticed that there was a piece of a walnut sitting on top of my cam cover. <laughs> and I'm like, I know I did not put that there. That got there somehow, not by me, which of course was by a mouse. What I did was I soaked, I took a few of these off, ripped them off, sprayed them to the point of where it, this was almost dripping off the towel. That's how much I sprayed this thing. And I put each one of them on the cam covers and I set them there thinking if there's any mice around the engine bay, it's going to deter them and they'll leave and go away from the car. I came back the next day and they had chewed through the paper towel or the shop towel and crapped all over it. <laughs> so that pretty much shows me that not only did it not deter them, they didn't give a crap about that smell. That didn't do anything to keep them away. I would consider this a complete failure and I would put this right in the same category. So my initial attempt at doing this was deterrent, which didn't work. So these are gone which leaves these, the bait, the traps, and the glue boards. I had caught mice on the glue boards prior to it getting cold. These work. I have not caught anything in them lately. I have these around the Cobra, which you probably saw in the video. I have them around the perimeter of the garage on the inside. I haven't caught anything in one of these in quite a while. Uh, I just started baiting again. I have various bait traps throughout the garage with bait in it now. After the incident with the spray and the shop towel, I decided I'm going from the turret mode to kill mode. <laughs> so I started using the snap traps again. And the very first night I set this, I put two of these on the Cobra. I say on the Cobra because they were in the engine bay because that's where they were chewing that shop towel. I didn't want them chewing any wires or anything like that. And I haven't used, this is brand new out of the box. I haven't caught any mice in this, so that's why I'm touching it with my bare hands. Um, so I put one of these right on top of the supercharger, and I put the other one right on top of the cam cover. I went out the next morning, and immediately, two of them were dead. And I reloaded the traps, put them back out again, and two days later, I caught two more. So that's a total of four mice that I've caught that were around the Cobra with the snap traps. I do not believe they chewed anything. They were all fat. And it's pretty early in the winter, so that means that they're probably not chewing any wires. Usually when they get low on food and they're close to starving, stuff like that, they'll start chewing and eating stuff that they normally wouldn't do, which would be wiring and stuff like that. I'm not positive they didn't make any kind of mess in the car. I did look through it. I didn't smell anything. So I don't think they were inside the car as far as like the interior goes, the seats, the everything like that, that area. I checked the trunk, didn't see anything in there. I think they were just up in the engine bay area and I didn't see any chewed wires anywhere. So I think everything's okay. I may start the car up even though I usually don't start vehicles in the winter time, but I may start it up on the next warm day we have just to make sure everything is all right no lights come on anything like that as far as engine lights or airbag lights or anything like that make sure nothing's gone weird inside the wiring but i'm pretty sure everything's okay and now i have tons of traps out i have a lot of bait out and i'm going to put out even more glue traps 
So this is just my personal experience. This stuff may work for you. It may work great. For me, it didn't. But if you want to go the route of keeping mice away from something, it's almost impossible to keep them out. It's very hard. My garage is sealed pretty damn well, and they still found a way in. If you're not squeamish as far as removing dead bodies, this is the best way to do it. Luckily, in the wintertime, they're like frozen mousicles by the time you uh, get out there and get rid of them. So it's not that bad ha handling them. Just put on gloves, throw them off into the woods, and that's pretty much the end of it. Uh, I have seen this the bait work pretty well before. Um, so that's pretty much my analysis of the whole thing. I hope those of you that have had questions on what to use for rodent control, maybe it steers you in a little more clear direction of where to go. I'm just going to continue using the traps, using the bait, using the glue boards. This stuff, I'll plug these in just to use them. This stuff's useless. I'm done with it. So that's pretty much all I got to say about everything. So I hope this helped a few of you or shed some light on it if it's something that you plan on doing down the road as far as rodent control with the vehicle you're storing during the winter time. But best of luck with your mouse to turn and mouse killing ventures that you go on. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time.